so it's whatever. But you know, when I'm a higher level, I'll destroy them. Don't you worry about that. You know, we've been really fortunate to see two chests. I hear another thing. It's always good to have a headset. Because you can hear the sparkling noises of a chest. And if I'm correct, that's this chest should be above us on top of the roof. That was terrible. The glide for uh, the warlocks isn't, isn't my favorite out of the bunch, but it works. Hey, there's a chest. Got 35 glimmer and a spin. You can see that or oh, never mind. Thought I took out the enemies. Boom. Don't worry, let me just make a little sun with my grenade. Boom! We got this green ammo that allows us to pick up shotguns. We got spin mill. Then, if we walk around here, we'll find this. A golden chest. Now uh, there are only five of these on every planet. Scanning for the warp drive. Bad news. It's already in fallen hands. Oh nice. I hope you're ready for this. Oh no. We ever saw it here. But shoot everything in the area. Oh boy, Negro. We'll talk about those, actually. When, like, when we get to them. Oh, uh, so we can talk about them now. Okay, so engrams are little things like that. We pick them up. That was a weapon engram, but it was a primary, uh, common engram. You have commons, you have it's in the uncommons, walls. rares, I mean, legendaries, and finally, exotics. Exotics are obviously the rarest. Legendaries being second. Rares being very common, actually. Funny, right? On my other characters, I get more blue and grams than green. Grenade! This guy's a big meanie. He stole my wolf. Oh gosh. He stole my warp drive. He stole my warp drive. Oh fuck up the face. This Ooh. Get you done. Fucking close. Now the bosses in this game are pretty big. Some sub bosses are bigger than actual bosses. Which is pretty funny, at times. But usually they're pretty big. Wait for my grenades to be... Get it up. As enemies just keep spawning relentlessly. The grenade. Ooh, we got him. Got him. Boom. Got the warp drive and I got a uncommon ingram, which is the green one. I got a house banners. You just which... killed an archon. And we got a warp drive. Oh yeah. House banners, like their items, like the house of banners, which you take to the cryptarch, which allows you to uh un uh in to open up these types of ingrams. Encrypted ingram. Which will definitely help. We'll see what kind of gear we get out of it. You get 200 glimmer for one house of banner. So if you get multiple of them, get rid, you can get rid of them. Oh, what did I get? I got a shotgun and a pair of gauntlets. Uh, well, not yet, of course. And 
and a Lego. Better. Okay, so let's explain. Well, you can explain. Well, just can explain yourself. Your light level or score is the, is an average of the attack and defense values across all your currently equipped gear. A higher light score improves both your damage output and your defense. And you used to, and not, it didn't used to be like that. I'll tell you that. It's a lot different in year one. You built up defense. Each piece of armor that you have, and each attack would, and the attack of your weapons would all pool into one thing. Your light level would also be affected as well, although the light level would rank you up quicker. So let's say I had gear with like 200 defense, my light level would probably be like 198, which would bring me up to rank 20 instantly. Now, if you took off all that armor, you'd go down to like a level, like, the 10, 2, whichever you were. But since they did this way, you level up normally, and you keep equipping better gear. Your light level is the average uh, style gear you get. If you have twi uh, tw twi 12 light level, then the average gear you get would be, like, 12, I think, 12 defense. Average weapons will have 12 attack, that kind of stuff. But as you can see, the green bar means we're leveling up. The little thunder it means we're almost done. And I have something at the tower, so let's do this. I hope one day we get ships like this. We could just fly them around eventually. Or just fly them around in general. It'd be pretty nice. Have my own ship. Land it in my backyard, which I don't have. Because, you know, condos. It'd be pretty nice. <sighs> Excuse me. But you'd never know. I'll probably be dead by that. Okay, Master Rahul. The Cryptarch. This guy... decrypts everything. But thinks I have a house of banners. I gave it to him. He gives me 200 renown. Renown. I said renown. That is a different game. Ah, uh, <laughs> Glimmer. And then I can... decrypt that, which gave me that. Now you see these legendary engrams and all that, since I have 68 legendary marks, I could buy that. Again, nice piece of gear. But, I don't really want to do that, because I'm saving up. Not for these, though. Those are worthless to me. So let's go talk to Ikora. Actually, never mind. Zavala. And Zavala. Good to have you back. Alright, uh, is it good though? Look at that guy. It's crazy. Well done. Secrets of the Fallen. Let's get Fallen strong with the Cosmic Gem. I have the location. Send word to the speaker. Excuse me. Morning, Guardian. Morning. Uh, she sells awesome armor. Like, I mean, look at this armor. Like, you'll get this armor eventually, and that's pretty cool. Pretty nice. You get all this armor eventually, you just gotta buy them for legendary marks and get the right level. But, uh... Stand behind you. 
because there's other legendary gear that you can get. Wow. Level 4 is 21. Level 1, that's 24. That's, that's nice. I get armor materials. Love it. But I have this. The Ram! An exotic helmet. Ah, uh, it'll look better later. Golden horns. Can't wait to have this. That'll make my uh girl look nice. Let's look on Lord Saldas. Rise and shine, Guardian. Ah, uh, hush. He sells a bunch of crucible gear, which is good for PvP. A bunch of weapons. Not just crucible gear. Uh, this guy, he sells weapons. He sells crucible. Which you have to be rank 30 to get. That's interesting. Oh, guess they did that. Oh, uh, I remember when I first got this game. So many low levels. I'm fairly sure I've seen a couple of the old people I've on Xbox 360 I've met. Uh, we used to do a bunch of things on in this little area. There used to be like five people on a party once. Maybe we have something special. We don't have anything special. We used to hang out. We used to be in parties, sit down, you know like that. Watch the days go by in the game while we're chatting, you know that kind of stuff. Pretty nice back then. <sighs> Uh, we don't have to worry about this chick, by the way. She's just a microtransaction chick. Do you know about our returns policy? Yeah, you don't have a returns policy. Can't return any item that you bought. Maybe that is a returns policy. Oh, I'm tired. Whew. I mean, eventually, if, we, if I want to do some of the harder stuff, just to show how things work. This right now is just like... To mess around with, to get my... Personal pie, but once we get him to rank 10, I'll switch over to one of my other characters. Because I gotta do a few things with that character, and I want to show him off a little bit. If you want, that level 40 character, you know what I'm saying? There are reports that the Fallen back at the Cosmodrome are keeping a pretty tight guard on the old Skywatch. It could be one of their leaders, or it could be something valuable. The speaker's asking Guardians to look into it. I just got an invite from somebody to play Destiny. That's the thing about Destiny. You'll be in a, a standard lobby, and you'll get invited for no reason. Like, okay, the it's Skywatch funny. Is just on the other side of the steps. It was worse when and the max level was only 20 and there were only a few level 20s well, in the world. Because, uh... And there were only a few level 20s in the world and I was one of them that night. <sighs> so many invites rang out. It was not even funny. They all wanted to do the hard raid and all that and I was just like, you know, I'll waste another hour of my life some other you know, this place And I did. Been amazing before the collapse. Thousands of humans boarding the colony ships. Off to build cities beyond. As you can tell, we're in Russia. If that's not apparent already. Up the hill. The building with the radar? That's the Skywatch. I don't know where the Skywatch is. Don't know. I'm gonna have to show you some stunts we used to do before we got stunt sparrows back in year one, but that'll be for another time. First, let's do these missions. Sadly, I have to run all the way over here because my guy's like, you know what, I don't have a sparrow right now. <laughs> 